Right, where do we go and then we go in the tavern. tavern. Are you ready for my eclectic music? It's instantly connected to. Do you like it? Yeah, this is from when I was growing up. This is the first ever song I bought on Apple. Uh, Apple. Well, I've got to turn it down. I remember my iPhone um, 3GS when I was in year 7. <laughs> I can't remember. I was now. 11. And you just got me an iPhone 3GS and a, a 50, 50 pound gift voucher for iTunes. Don't you remember? <laughs> can't remember. When you used to, have, you used to have to download music. Well, that was one of the first songs I ever downloaded. Really? Yeah. Oh, well. So you should have come with me then last night. Why? Because you'd have enjoyed the music in my car. We had a nice old sing along, me and just me. Me and just you. Me and just the, the music. I was there. It's a good old sing along. Watching the UFC, weren't you? It was. But we have down tools. We're in the process of decorating your bedroom, aren't we? Yeah. And <laughs> someone left a comment on one of the previous videos and said, Tony, how do you not get full of paint when you're painting? And the first time ever. I got paint on my leggings. I I'm just freshening up the walls, giving it a little lick of paint, taking your curtains down because you no longer want curtains, do you? So I filled all the holes in. Never wanted curtains. I thought. <laughs> what does I say to you? No, they weren't even curtains. They were just, they were just like... a feature. Like you couldn't draw them. But what did I say to you when I was decorating your bedroom? When we before we even decided, I said, "What colour do you want? What?" What theme would you like? Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> and he was just like, I'm not bothered. Just paint it whenever you want. So we've just gone with the fresh enough. <laughs> I get the say over a majority of things, but not your bedroom. And if you would like me to get someone in to do it for you, then well, you would well, have to pay for that. Yeah, I know. Well, I did. I did. I did tell you what I wanted though. What was that? Black walls. Well, I'm not painting black <laughs> walls, not, and it wasn't black; it was dark grey. Yeah, it was dark grey. I'm not confident painting. Haven't you, haven't you seen dark people's bedrooms like when it's like it's got black features in it? You yeah. It. If you want black features, then you know I've got no problem with that. You can do whatever you want and have whatever you want. But I'm not going to paint it black walls. I can't paint black walls. No, neither. And think like I think that would just make me scared more than anything because it's getting that straight line. But you got that artistic straight line. I'm not that artistic. Well, I am. I can. <laughs> well, I'll let you paint the straight line then. What are you going to have for your breakfast? American. Oh yeah. yeah. And what does an American entail? Square potato chip things. Hash brown. No. No. Hash browns as well. But the square potato chip things, they've got like little herbs in them, will be. Alright. Hash browns, bacon, sausage, egg, toast, beans. Tomatoes? No. No. What do I usually get when I go to Savin? I don't know, do you get a light appetite or something? I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Right, we are now almost at the tavern. I'll give you a little look at what we get. I'll show you all these all American breakfast. And my belly is rumbling for it. He's tidied all the table. Looks <laughs> lovely. I think the potatoes you were talking about. I like little potato cubes, aren't they? <laughs> that looks lovely. And I got the light appetite. You got a nice full belly. Yeah. <laughs> it was lovely, that wasn't uh, it? Yeah, it was lovely. Totally enjoyed it. And I've just remembered, I'm going out for lunch with Annette. So, I'm going to have an extra full belly. Ooh, <laughs> lovely. <sighs> oh. That, oh, God! <laughs> 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 she had the cutest... Yeah, like <laughs> the cutest little ginger Pomeranian dog. And be because it has one of those like little safety harnesses on, she just picked it up like it was literally a handbag. <laughs> so it's just like that. <laughs> I have a full belly and I've got to make a little bit of room for lunch. And then if you're going out with Harry, that's great because then we can down tools on the bedroom till about half two, three o'clock. Yeah. Okay then.
Can you think of anything that you might need from Home Bargains or B&M? Um. I've got my little list in my phone which I'll stick to. Just a little basic bits that I need. And if there's anything amazing in B&M, I'll be sure to let you have a look. It was a successful shopping trip to Home Bargains. That's all we went to. Home Bargains and Sainsbury's. I'm not going to bore you with the things that I bought. <laughs> but one thing I have needed for so long, as you are aware, because my other one was all busted and just not at its best. I got myself a new slow cooker. $24.99 from Home Bargains. And it's very similar to the one that I had before. The only thing difference is the brand of this is Harry Bikers. I'm gonna unpackage it, get it all washed and nice and clean. And then tomorrow I can make something. In fact, it won't be tomorrow. It will be the next day because tomorrow I've got a HelloFresh recipe which I'm cooking, which is Thai inspired chicken and noodle stir fry. So I'm gonna cook that for tea tomorrow. Tonight we are having pan fried halloumi. So this can get washed and put away for a couple of days and then I'll pull it out and cook a nice wholesome. I'll probably do steak in the slow cooker, which is one of Ollie's favorite meals with potatoes and onion gravy. What a gorgeous day. It's, it's like a spring day. I've been out with no coat on, just my jumper and trousers and I have to say it feels lovely to not have to wrap up extra warm. Oh, I picked up some replacement dusters as well. These have been amazing for cleaning your skating boards. If you're anything like me and you just end up oh, stressed out about having to clean the skating boards, these are great. These are just refills that go on the end but they're also great for dusting the banister and the hard to reach places. I've used these for years on the banister, but they are just as good on your skating boards. One thing I am super proud of myself for is shopping, my actual shopping list. That is the only bag that I got from Sainsbury's and I actually shopped what was on my shopping list and that was lettuce. I said a way I'm going to show you, but I just got the things that I needed basically from Sainsbury's. But I needed to go and get decorator's cloak for the skating boards and I also got a new thing for it to go in. I did want one of the ones where there's no drip, but I couldn't find them in B&Q, so I just had to get this dial one, which I'm hoping does just a good a job but I need to fill some skating board edges now cavities skating board cavities <laughs> Tony talks like she knows what she's going on about she has no idea but I'm in the process of decorating Arlene's bedroom and I also picked up some new paint brushes I love these brushes somebody did leave me a comment on one of my previous videos and said that they couldn't believe i'd shopped in not quick fit i always call this place quick fit and it's not even called quick fit yeah that diy shop anyway <laughs> screw fix screw, screw fix is it is this i don't know anyway that was a diy shop that i use for my rollers and and, <laughs> and, oh my God, what is the matter with my brain? Anyway, it is my go-to for decorating items. And I find that roller that I use for decorating, I've had that for about six or seven years, maybe even a little bit longer. If you pay a little bit extra for your products that you're gonna use for decorating, they will last you so much longer than the cheaper, alternative i find those rooster brewster rouster rooster <laughs> i have no idea what i'm talking about I don't even listen to me but i'm like what are they called rooster Ro anyway if you pay out a little bit extra 
the items will last so much longer. Roller heads last me for years. I just wash them and they keep going and going. The only reason why I had to buy some new paint brushes is because I use black paint on the banister. And I'm terrified of there being just a little tiny bit of black paint in there and it making all the white skirting boards look grey. So I did pick up a new packet. I'm so proud of myself for sticking to my shopping list. I'm now going to set this up and fill some cavities in, not in teeth. They're not even called cavities. Cavities are in your teeth. Fill up some of those, I'll show you. I don't even know why I'm telling you because I couldn't just show you. <laughs> That was definitely a man's job. Oh my gosh, it was a warehouse all on its own. Now I need to cut this at a little tiny angle. As if it weren't hard enough just getting the tip off the tube. <laughs> Don't even know whether you'll be able to actually see that, but can you see it? <laughs> Welcome to Tony's DIY. <laughs> oh gosh, so where's my little point? This was why I wanted one of those ones where it doesn't apply the pressure because then it won't keep squirting out like that. But I'm all organised to go and seal some skateboards if I finally came to me. Oh my God, half an hour later. <laughs> I don't know whether my address was on that then, but it's a couple of days later. A lovely parcel has arrived. I'm not crazy. I'm not, <laughs> well, <laughs> I think that is actually debatable <laughs> because I've made a purchase online. I don't know whether you're anything like me, but I was obsessed with the Studio McGee fireplace garlands last Christmas. Christmas 2022, they had the most unreal fireplace displays and um, I tried to recreate something similar. I'll pop a little picture in here just in case you weren't with me during Vlogmas. I created that display out of an old garland and I bought some thick fair stems to go into the garland to fluff it up a little bit. I had my eye on that Studio McGee one but could not get one to the UK for love nor money and um, I did mention around vlogtober was it maybe that i was looking into using a company in america to ship stuff to the uk they give you an address and everything else i just didn't get around to it i have found the most amazing studio mcgee style garlands well it looked that way online and i've opened the box i just haven't got it out the bag yet so let's do it together and see Oh, it is. I know it is. And I know it's March. I know. I know. I, I'm not even going to try and make any excuses for myself because there are no excuses. <laughs> but this was on offer and I couldn't resist it. As you know, I've been having a huge declutter of all the things that are basically taking up space in my home that I don't use or want or need. I've been selling them on, so we did take the money out of that for this. This cost me £44.99, and I just know it's going to be the best £44.99 I've spent. It was on offer when I bought it, so it's unreal. Let me get the bag out. Oh my goodness. I know, I know. Christmas is just my time. It's just my time <laughs> and I can't wait to decorate my fireplace. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't even know whether the camera is going to do it any justice at all, but it is exactly what I wanted. <gasps> I mean, I don't like these bits, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a lover of those branches in it, but if they fluff it up a bit, then I'm all for it. So we've got a thin end 
<laughs> I'm not really selling this very well, am I, for March? We've got a thin end and then it thickens up towards this end. I did think it was going to stand a little higher than it does, but that's okay, I suppose. I love it. I absolutely love it. I didn't do it any justice at all, but trust me when I say I'm excited to decorate my fireplace for Christmas 2023. <laughs> and by shopping early, I've saved a bit of money because they will be expensive at Christmas time. I've made a nice mess on the kitchen floor, but that is a gorgeous garland and I cannot wait to be able to fluff it up and just make it look all lovely. I'm very, very happy with that. I have had so much going on. The, the one thing I did want to mention was my orders for my Spring Discovery Wax Melt Box collection. Thank you so much for your orders. It's honestly, it makes my day when you place an order on my website. Thank you so much. I'm going to pop a little ad up here because I am speaking about my own brand, but I just hope that you love the Spring Discovery Box as much as I do. But one thing I did want to say was, I have been using these recyclable plastic clamshells and pour, pouring the wax into the four clams, but I've swapped over to the five clam, clamshell because these are so big. I've been cutting those with a Stanley knife, so I get eight wax melts rather than four because they are very big, whereas with these bar style clamshells you can snap them this way and then snap them in half again and get 10 wax melts rather than five so i've used up the last of these which i've got over on the top but i've used up the last of the four clams and i will be swapping to the five clam because theoretically you get 10 wax melts out of these springtime oh my gosh i have no words for this wax melt this wax melt smells unreal there are a few more available which i will leave in the description box down below but as soon as the springtime no as soon as the spring discovery box set sells out and discontinues i will definitely rename springtime to something else because it sounds too similar to spring kitchen I'll change the name of this and make this available on the website and I'll let you know as soon as I've decided on a name for this because it's, uh, it smells stunning. Let me know what your favourite wax melt is in the Spring Discovery box, but mine is definitely springtime. It smells beautiful. Like, I would, I would happily burn this every single day. If I had to choose one wax melt to burn, I would be burning springtime. It smells stunning. And I'm not really a floral lover, but if you like Tony's Blend and Harrods and Hamptons, you will love springtime. It is only available as it stands in the Discovery boxes, but as soon as they're sold out, I will make this available because it's stunning. I just need to think of a nice name. If you've got any name ideas for springtime, please let me know because it smells amazing. Definitely my favorite. So I thought I would let you know about cutting the wax melt so you get more out of them because that one big wax melt is too much to burn. To me, it just feels like a waste. So I use my little box opener to cut them in half and you get eight wax melts out of those four clams and you'll get 10 out of the five clams. I took myself to Ikea on Wednesday and bought some bits, but I'm gonna save that for next week's video because I have had some new wardrobes come, which I have built. And I did first off put them in the front master bedroom, but didn't really like them in there. So moved them into the office. And I just feel like everywhere is getting some sort of normal now. Everywhere's had a nice refresh and decorate. I've been super busy, but I'm going to save the IKEA and the bedroom update for next week's video. I just hope that you've enjoyed this little catch up and spending a little bit of time with me and Ollie when we went to the tavern for our breakfast. I haven't showed any of Lee's bedroom being decorated because it's his personal space and I just don't want to put that on YouTube when it's his bedroom. <laughs> Even though I put the kitchen on in the living room, I just feel like his bedroom is his personal space. So there won't be any updates of Lee's bedroom. It is a stunning day today. I'm going to get some washing out on the line. I'm sorry if the lighting's been in and out because it's the sun's 
beaming through the skylights then it's beaming through the patio doors and i'm not mad about it i absolutely love it i hope the sun is shining for you where you are and if you want to watch a little bit more of me you can catch up on my other youtube channel which is the chatty two and that is a youtube channel where we speak about absolutely everything me and my friend lou and that video i will link in the description box down below also have a fabulous day and i'll see you all in my next video